Douglas Christie sheep child. A sheep whisperer. Corn, grain, and molasses. It's like candy to them. Uh, but during winter time, when they don't get enough grass, they need extra. Um, this is also really important for the mother. Uh, they eat this when they're lambing because they need it for milk production. Uh, they think it's candy. <laughs> candy. Doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Put a little milk on it. The last one smells really good. So these are the young, the younger? These are the yearlings. Oh, these are yearlings? Yeah. And these are those Suffolks, aren't they? Because they got the black face? Correct. And the Suffolk is a meat? Yes. Sheep? Meat sheep. But you could eat uh, you could eat a wool sheep. It just wouldn't have as much meat, or what is the deal there? Yeah, they're just they're just skinnier. Um, they're better if you're going to eat them when they're young, so yearling and on down. If you want to, if you're older, then they're not really good. Oh. You want to tenderize it for a long time. Oh, okay. Kind of like an old roaster. Right. Roaster hen or roaster chicken. Is that all they eat is the corn? I oh, know, they, they have alfalfa, which is that they also really good for milking. And then they have regular grass hay. Oh, like because this? Because right now the grass outside is all dead. So that's just, that right there is regular hay. Oh, okay. You put some in your hand, they might eat off of it. So this is more of a snack for them then? More of a snack for these girls, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Oh yeah, you eat it, won't you? Just don't bite my fingers. No, oh, they won't bite your fingers. You might lick them. This one has no problem eating. <laughs> right out of my hand. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> My hand's all sticky and slobbery now. Smell it. <laughs> Can you smell it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't smell it. My nose is froze. <laughs> it's winter. But we're not in Michigan. We're in Pennsylvania this time. Seven hours from home. Pretty neat. I haven't had a chance to get out like this in a long time. And just happen to come when the sheep are having their babies. And they have them what? It's like in the middle of winter when they have their babies? Yeah, when it's cold out, that's when they like having them. Huh. I would think, you'd think they would have them in the springtime. No. But they well, actually... There is some that will have them in the springtime, but usually March is the latest. Oh, okay. Hi there. Want to say hi? Want to say hi, 891? <laughs> What are you doing? I call her Pinky. She's Pinky? Really super intelligent. Are you the super intelligent one? So you can't pat the rams on the head or they think you're wanting to headbutt them or something? Yeah, it's a, a sign of aggression. But the, the ewes will let, them, will let you pet them on the head. A ewe? Yeah, they're called ewes. The females are ewes, the males are rams. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never knew that. I figured they were called a doe. But they're a ewe. They're real skittish, but some of them, if, if you touch them a lot when they're young, like these three, the yellow, the pink, and the red collar, um, they're used to being touched, and they won't run away. But like this one, and, and that one over there, that one right there, these two, the bigger ones, um, they'll probably run from you at first, unless they get to know you. Oh. Uh, yeah, that one come right up and ate out of my hand, but the other ones seem kind of afraid. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Even this old barn's neat. I showed you guys a picture earlier where they actually had some wooden pins to hold the the joints of the timbers together. Pretty neat. I always like seeing that old rough hewn lumber. 
Yeah. Some of this probably isn't that old, but some of it is. Yeah, this part is probably about 200 years old, maybe 300. This part? This part. This whole barn is probably about 200 years old. Really? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Hey there. That's it, girls. Here, I'll get you guys right in, right in amongst them. <laughs> hey, what you doing? So the yellow tag is ones that we bought, and the white tags are our tags. Oh, okay. So this white one here was a little baby at one time, right here on the farm. That's correct. Aww, she's so cute. So she was a baby last year. <laughs> these are all yearlings, so they've, they've been alive for a year. But you guys raise these mostly to sell because they're a good breed? Right. We mostly sell them for breeding, but we also sell them for meat and we also sell the wool. We sell the whole fleece. We don't sell just like wool, we sell the whole fleece. Oh, with the skin on it? No skin, but it's oh. the whole it's the whole thing that's sheared off all at once. Oh. Hmm. So when you it's not like you get in a haircut, you when you shave, it comes off in pieces. Uh-huh. The the fleece comes off all at once. Really? Yeah. Without the skin. Without the skin. Yeah. Hmm, that's weird. That'd be kind of neat to see that. They even like a, they look like they lick the bottom here. There. Aw. Don't bite my finger. Don't bite it. <laughs> hey, that's not molasses. That's my finger. <laughs> that's my finger. You're just like my cat at the house. You want to bite me. You want to bite the hand that feeds you. Uh -huh. So you see how smart she is? She's crawling <laughs> Yeah, she's like, come on, bring it. I want some more. That's pretty cool. I'll show you some of the fences. What's that? We have some, I have some fleeces if you want to look at them. Oh, yeah, let's check it out. I'm going to do another video, though, because I want to keep these short, so... I'll just say uh, thanks for watching on this one and just keep making more videos as we see uh, more stuff about the sheep.